it's great to see you. I have been so excited for Christmas in July crafting for months now. Christmas crafts are my favourite, Christmas season is my favourite and so every Saturday for the month of July I will be coming to you with a Christmas in July project. Starting off with these shaker pockets which are perfect for flat mail. I'm using some supplies here from Cheryl Simone Crafts. I'm on their design team, so these bits were gifted to me. She sent me the Doodle Bug Essentials Pack, which has these gorgeous brads, Doodle Pop, the enamel dots, um, sticker sheet, alphas, and then some papers. She also sent me the little Santa enamel dots that I just showed you, which are adorable. To make this, I'm using the other part of the A4 document wallet that we used in a previous craft project. These can be any size as long as they are longer than they are wide. So I've got two four inch by whatever the width of an A4 page is just because that's what I happen to have left. And then I'm just folding them up as you can see to create the double pocket. Grabbing my burnishing tool and just making sure that, that line is nice and crisp so it doesn't move when I run it through the sewing machine. I am making two of these but we only finished one, it's just that I wanted to use up the rest of that plastic document wallet. You can grab these from loads of places and they're really inexpensive. So the first thing you want to do is run this to your sewing machine, just doing the part that I'm showing you here. Don't stitch the two pieces together, you're literally just going across that for aesthetic value, it doesn't actually do anything or hold anything in place. Next up we are making the sequin mix, this is my favourite part always. I decided on these little colourful candy swirls, the only thing is I don't think the purple matches the collection. So I go through and I take out all of the purple ones in the handful you can see here and just use the other colours. Then I go ahead and go through my sequin stash and basically add more in different sizes but the same colours as what's already in the swirl mix. So I've got some blues, some pinks, I add a lot of iridescent in there, some little stars which I think are really pretty. All sorts of different shapes and sizes just to complement the colour mix that's already in there. I recently grabbed some extra sequins and I never know which ones to buy because I can't remember the names. So I've gone ahead and put little stickers on the corner of these pouches you might have just seen with the colour name and the size. I know that Rachel Talman has like, um, she numbers them and writes it down that way which is a fantastic idea but I'm far too lazy <laughs> so I've just put the stickers straight onto the pouches. Next I am showing you where to stitch so you want to go along the long side on the right and along the bottom. So make sure you do the bottom first, this just holds it nicer while you're stitching and then go up the side, I'm showing you slowly there, <laughs> that's easier than trying to explain. And then you're going to put your sequin mix inside the first pocket. Don't put it in the back one unless you want sequins in the front and the back of your pouch. So this one you'll just have a sequin pouch at the front and the back will have pretty papers. At this point I decide I need more iridescent stars, who doesn't need more of those, and some pretty beads, so I'm just adding those now. And then you want to stitch the other long side closed, I'll show you what I mean in just a second, there you go. So this side you want to stitch straight along there. There we go, it's all done. So now the last thing to do is cut off all the little strings and then I need to snip off that top piece so that the top will open like a top loading pocket. Um, if your patron doesn't have that bit, then you can skip that step, but obviously mine did, so I've just snipped that off. Now I'm choosing my papers. These are from the Doodlebug Essentials Pack from Cheryl Simone Crafts. I will link everything I've used down below for you. I'm just measuring this to see how big my piece of paper needs to be. Make sure that it will go nicely into that top loading pocket. Make sure while you're doing this step that your pattern is the way you want it, facing the right way up. I've made that mistake far too many times. And then you should be able to just slide it straight into your pocket like so. You can decorate this, leave it plain. It's entirely up to you. Next, I'm just gonna cut a couple of these pieces to show you what it looks like with bits in both pockets. So I love this page, it's a little countdown page and I'm planning to use this one in an advent swap at Christmas time. So I'm just cutting out number one and two as an example, popping that into the front pocket to show you what that looks like, adding in a little pick with a Santa hat and there is your little flat mail shaker pocket complete. 
I really hope you give this a go. Make sure to tag me if you do. I'd love to see your creations. And I will be back to craft with you again soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.